Three spiders for the hobbyists on heated shelves. Seven for the collectors and their cabinets of glass. Nine for the YouTubers doomed to clickbait who above all else desire views. But they were all of them deceived, for another spider lived. In the deserts of Peru, in the shadows of time, a spider was born. Not of beauty nor grace, but of power. It bears no silk palace, it spins no web. It wakes, buried beneath the sand, until all light fades. One spider to rule them all. And now, I've brought it home. In this box is arguably one of the most venomous spiders to exist. And it's an absolute belter, so let's get a look. This species is part of the Saccariidae family, the same as the infamous recluse spiders, but this one is even more hardcore. It possesses dermonecrotic venom, which means it literally has a flesh melting bite. And trust me, you don't want to test that bite. Recent research has pointed to this little ambush predator having the most potent venom of all arachnids. It absolutely puts your pokies and your OBTs to shame. This is Sicarius gracilis and it is native to the arid regions of northern Peru and southern Ecuador, where it earns the name the Six-Eyed Sand Spider, for pretty obvious reasons. It has six eyes arranged in three pairs, and it will often bury itself flat in the sand, laying in wait for weeks at a time waiting for prey to come just that little bit too close. So as you might imagine from possibly the most venomous spider we know of, its bite is medically significant. But luckily there are no confirmed bites in captivity. Yet. Unfortunately though, there is also no anti-venom available at the present. So if you do get tagged by one of these, prepare for possible amputation. And there she is. What an incredible spider every part of her adapted to that dry desert environment. Now these guys are actually very simple to house. They want a dry, sandy substrate that is just deep enough for them to bury down a little bit and lie in wait and an ambush. An inch or so would probably do. They aren't able to climb smooth glass or acrylic, so a deep enclosure with a lock and lid is ideal. Keeps your spider happy and you safe. They're quite a shy spider, so they don't really want to be disturbed and they don't really need any water. The trick to being successful with these guys seems to be to just keep the enclosure bone dry. Just make sure your feeders have a good drink or a good bit of watery lettuce and then they'll pass that moisture onto your spider for you. Although these spiders are amazing, I wouldn't recommend them to beginner or inexperienced keepers. Get maybe a few centipedes under your belt before you move on to these guys. They're also very long lived for a true spider, so if you get a female, you can expect to have it for 5 to 15 years in captivity. So it's a real commitment, they need fed around maybe once every 2 weeks to a month. There's just something awe-inspiring about a critter so dangerous 
yet so peaceful. This spider doesn't even chase its prey, it just waits and now it's part of the clan. If you enjoyed this unboxing or you're just fascinated by the world's most misunderstood animals, hit like and subscribe for more. We will be showcasing a lot more critters as the channel progresses. So until next time, cheerio and rasta!